Nigeria is officially 61, and since our last wordsmith talked about love being the cure to anything, I thought why not share a poem that talks about it. That's part of our lineup on the many things we have for you for your viewing pleasure. A performance which celebrates World Tourism Day in Lagos. to a photo exhibition in the nation's capital. In another part of Abuja, we see some artists being trained to turn waste to wealth in a bid to save the environment. Thank you for joining us on the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. We begin our amazing art journey in a moment. Our wordsmith for this week is Love Doesn't Hurt by Unwanyi Ulegede. Love doesn't hurt. Love is a powerful tool in the hands of its adherents. Love is embellished in robes of honor to its recipient. It is a tonic in the minds of its bigots. That's its comfort zone. Love shows off itself in vulnerability to its own love. Love makes sense even when there's no sense in it. Mends the gulf between broken hearts in that moment. Love knows no distance. It's ever so near and clear. Love is warm, wraps itself in sheets of a dove. Dabs tears of joy that brims from its hat with a kiss. Love doesn't hurt. It's inexpensive, respects no currency. It melts the coals of a burning heart, feels grace in its outpouring, love enlivens, it charms, courts joy, love doesn't hurt, it blesses, it makes better a good thing. World Tourism Day has been celebrated recently. This year's theme is Tourism for Inclusive Growth, and it's apt, especially since the sector is trying to bounce back in the COVID-19 era. This performance at the Nikkei Art Gallery Lagos reveals the beauty of the sector through the arts. For many, it's an unconventional place to hold this kind of performance to celebrate World Tourism Day. But for the art gallery in Lagos, it's apt as they invite the visitors to enjoy an array of cultural display in an environment surrounded by even more creativity, art. The theme of today is tourism to grow more and more in Nigeria. So tourism come to stay, especially in Lagos. In Nigeria in general, everybody want to come to Africa. You know what they are paying for? The sun, which some of the people don't in like. The art, which many people they don't have in their house. This is to create awareness for the creativity of our own country. And that is the focus of today. Tourism is good, and if you ask my opinion, tourism would actually help the economy. So the more we have visitors coming, it helps to generate revenue. And once we collect revenue in foreign currency, it helps to build our reserve. So with art, if well promoted, we will not be under the kind of pressure that we currently are in. So art is truly good for growth, most especially at a time like this. It's
It's not a day for speeches as the performers interact freely and dish out various dance moves to the audience who are conscious about how art and tourism interface for growth. For me, it's a good way to promote our domestic tourism. It's a good way to promote our creative arts industry. It's also a good way to promote Lagos State as a hub for tourists to come. And it's also a very good way to let them know that domestic tourism is on the high rise right now in Lagos. Art tourism, they go hand in hand. What is tourism? Tourism is where people come and explore, where people come and, and, and are happy. You know, they, they, they're, they're able to see things, they're able to relax. You know, so, um, you know, art and tourism, you know, they, 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 they go hand in hand. And there are places where, you know, you, you visit the tourist attractions, but you find art there. So, and tourist today in Lagos State is, is something that the government is encouraging, promoting. Tourism today in Lagos State is uh, something that's revenue generating. Tourism today in Lagos State, you know, there are many tourist attractions that a lot of people go to, to unwind. And uh, tourism is something that, you know, it needs, we need to boost our economy. Not only in Lagos State, in Nigeria as a whole. Art is a chattel, it's a collection that gives you, it appreciates over time. And so the more you collect art, you are actually increasing your wealth. So I am a collector and I'll keep coming around. It inspires me and it also is an impression when we see artists do their thing and we see their work through their eyes. Culture is the way of life of the people, and art is life. You know, art and tourism are cousins, so I'm not surprised about that performance by the National Troop, which reveals the social and economic potentials. There's another celebration with this exhibition that salutes Nigeria's heroes in pictures, but this time it's taking place in the nation's capital, Abuja. Six decades of independence revealing footprints of the country's founding fathers and several political leaders to an Abuja audience. That's the idea behind this photo exhibition with the theme Togetherness. The theme of the photo exhibition, which I think, which I believe is the very first event in kicking off this year's celebration, has been carefully chosen to reflect the unity of this great country in the past 60 years and even before then. Despite its diverse cultures, traditions, practices, languages, and challenges. Like other countries in the world, it is an incompatible fact that Nigeria, over the years, has gone through challenging times. But we must not miss the fact that, it, that it's resolved to remain as one individual entity as we may on shape. A history lesson is presented in pictures. 
so everyone, especially the younger generation, can get a better insight into the nation's journey over the years. In spite of our diversity in culture and language, we remain one strong and indivisible country. This unity in our diversity has been aptly captured in the theme of the Diamond Jubilee celebration, together, which emphasizes the promotion of social cohesion, national values, through the impartation and adoption of civic and communal values that promote good character, patriotism, empathy, hard work, and self-reflection. Ladies and gentlemen, this photo exhibition has been put together to remind us of our rich history, and especially to tell the story of Nigeria for the benefit of majority of our youth who have been exposed to bias and incorrect rendition of past happenings in the country. The images are carefully selected to show unity, regardless of diverse cultures, traditions, practices, languages and challenges. We know that pictures, photographs, paintings have been used over time as a means of communication to effectively record and disseminate information about the world, humanity and our heritage and preserve and extend knowledge and understanding of the same across generations. That is why I implore all of us that are here today to make the best use of this opportunity to go through all the pictures that have been displayed so that we can learn of our, from our very, very rich history. This photo exhibition draws the curtains on the federal government's year-long activities to mark 60 years of nationhood as Nigeria begins a new chapter, 61. Let's take a moment now. When Art House returns, we take your works of art for this week, our art quote, then watch some artists get their feet wet. Do stay with us. These are the works of art you sent in this week. The works of art sent in this week look at an array of issues, then our art quote, as usual, is by a veteran. These are the works of art you sent in this week. The female fever is still catching on with our artists. Let's begin with this one done by Charles Lewis Azuako. It's part of his Queen series. This one is called Onye. It's done with charcoal and acrylic on canvas. Then this oil, acrylic and fabric on canvas work is called Mama Africa, done by Jolaye Mitai. Then Justin Laye has three sisters and acrylic on canvas work. While Shion Odeemi says, let there be light with this charcoal drawing. While couple perspective is done by Fashola Akoni with oil on canvas.
Then Joy Alagwe says happiness is free with this charcoal on paperwork. While Clement Tula is reminding everyone that we're still living in a pandemic, so we should remember to wear the world's new uniform with this charcoal pencil and pastel work. And that concludes the works of art you sent in. We encourage you to keep them coming. My art responds to the dynamics of continuity and change in my neighborhood and the global constituency. It's a new form of making good fortune out of abandoned materials which are supposed to harm the environment, turning them into valuables. Artists from across the country are being trained in the nation's capital, Abuja, to embrace this latest art method called upcycling. Upcycling, a sustainable means of waste management, inspiring creativity and innovation, reducing production activities to limiting the amount of filth released into the environment by turning them to works of art. That's the reason these creatives have selected from across the country, no matter the weather, to learn how to effectively utilize these found objects and constructively give them a new meaning with their art. This is about thinking about the end of a product before you design it. So, um, so we believe that the cycling economy, which is what the artist is doing in the form of upcycling, is that they are taking things already that are supposed to be discarded, they are supposed to be contaminating the environment, they're supposed to be hazardous to the environment, and they're upcycling them to give them value, to make them to become art and to add aesthetics to them. The essence of this convergence at the Skill G Innovation Center Abuja is not lost on the artists who are already learning to connect with their material, turning them to images that convey different messages. So what we're doing here is to make, um, create the consciousness of um, environmental sustainability practices that people should imbibe. We're also creating awareness on the hazards of our practice, of our activities to the environment. Not only that, we're also talking to federal government to begin to look, look into vocational skills. Because these guys, most of them are trained um, artists, but also they are making things from junk. For instance, Hassan Abdulaziz is making a case for some animals gradually going extinct. I'm actually working on animals that are going into extinction, just like the unicorn I'm doing there, and Amo leopard. That's the two work I'm focusing on. I'm working on unicorn. There's a lot of controversies on unicorn. Most people don't believe it exists. But me as an artist, I believe unicorn exists. Another animal lover, Ayodeji Kingsley, but the parrot he has created is telling people not to be silent about societal ills. I'm making a parrot, a parrot here, and parrots are known for their communication skills. They are known to be vocal and they are known to be friendly. So I'm using this parrot to pass a message to the society, basically because I'm... Um, we need to all speak up. We need to stop um, getting our environment damaged by um, irrelevant waste. So 
this part is meant to be um, a message because basically we are meant to talk about this kind of stuff but our actions most times will be the one to talk about it. While Onomigo Esther looks at the significance of light in any area using the lantern. This work it speaks it has several interpretations. Okay, depending on what the observer tends to interpret it to be. Okay. It can stand for the female gender rising up to everything that the society has to offer. Unlike before now, years before now, the voices of the females are not heard, yes. But this lamb tower with the lady, it's more like it's our time to come out from dark into light, like our voice can be heard. For others, sculptural images are fused with technology as the pieces talk about how human beings can save the planet from climate change and pollution caused by toxic material. This is a tree structure, so my aim is to combine art structures um, and sculptures with technology in order to create pieces that would communicate and send out messages about how human beings can help and save the planet from climate change and pollution that we are causing. So this piece is, the name is Nature Needs You, so the piece is when you come close to it, it has a sensor that picks up you, the motion when a human being comes close to it. So that sensor sends in a signal that makes the plant water itself. Um, the other projects that I'm working on are using same technology with waste materials in order to communicate and tell human beings what they are doing wrong that is causing the planet harm and the ways that we're harming the planet. This environmental sustainability practice is to create more awareness on the hazardous activities being done to the surroundings as artists step up to the plate by showing how to rework these items for the good of mankind. The outcome of this practice session has been unveiled in an exhibition. Off cycling has been the buzzword in the art industry lately. Little wonder with the cost of art materials and the state of the economy generally, creatives need to think out of the box. It's a good thing because they are also saving the environment. We'll be seeing that exhibition on the show pretty soon. But there's a lot more to look forward to on the next episode of Art House. Next week on Art House. On the next episode of Art House, we have more group exhibitions as Coco Pelli Gallery in Lagos shows us a room full of stories. Then there's a convergence of artists at the Jelosimi Art Center in Lagos. Get details of that and more when you tune in next week. Your art house experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. So we'll be having more group exhibitions on the next episode. That's something to anticipate. We encourage you to also relieve this moment by going to our YouTube page. Interact with us on Facebook as well. And remember, tag your images properly when sending them. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Stay safe and keep being creative.